Now, the 14-year-old boy accused of shooting dead four people at a high school in the U.S. state of Georgia has appeared in court for the first time. Colt Gray is facing murder charges after Wednesday's attack, which injured nine other people. He did not enter a plea. His father, Colin Gray, also has appeared in court today after being charged over the shooting. Investigators allege the 54-year-old knowingly allowed his son to possess a weapon. Well, here's some of what the judge had to say in the father's hearing. Felony murder in the second degree, uh, the maximum in prison, the, the maximum penalty for each count is up to 30 years uh, imprisonment for Felony involuntary manslaughter, uh, of course, again, there are four counts. The maximum uh, penalty for, for each of those offenses is 10 years uh, imprisonment. For the eight felony cruelty to children counts, uh, the maximum penalty under the law for each of those eight counts is 10 years uh, imprisonment for a maximum total uh, possible a penalty for the charges that you currently are facing of 180 years imprisonment. Well, those were the comments in the last, what, 25 minutes in court. Now, in terms of uh, the reaction there has been, well, let me tell you that speaking at a rally in Arizona, the Republican nominee for Vice President J.D. Vance has been speaking about that school shooting. Have a listen to what he had to say. What is going to solve this problem, and I really do believe this, is look, I don't like this. I don't like to admit this. I don't like that this is a fact of life. But if, you're, if you are a psycho and you want to make headlines, you realize that our schools are soft targets. And we have got to bolster security at our schools so that a person who walks through the front door We've got to bolster security so that if a psycho wants to walk through the front door and kill a bunch of children, they're not able to. And again, as a parent, do I want my kids' school to have additional security? No, of course I don't. I don't want my kids to go to school in a place where they feel like you've got to have additional security, but that is increasingly the reality that we live in. Well, those are the latest comments from J.D. Vance. Uh, interesting ending there talking about security, but starting that clip you just heard, and it's got a lot of traction online, a lot of criticism by saying that uh, school shootings are now a fact of life. So uh, uh, that the latest in terms of some of the reactions, some of the politics. Let me tell you, we'll also be speaking live to a representative from that group March for Our Life, that charity set up by David Hogg, who was a survivor of the Parkland shooting in 2018. We'll talk to them in about an hour's time. So do stay with us uh, for more on that story. As I say, that court appearance has happened in the last little while. Around the world and across the UK, you are watching BBC News.